Hi Virgo, short video for you. This is July 31st at one something in the morning. So in a nutshell, because I'm gonna keep this as short as possible for some of you, I'm going to have to come back and see if we can get something interesting and refreshing for the month of August. So this is just for this weekend basically. What we have is Hangman, Two of Pentacles, the Hermit, Hierophant, and Four of Swords. So you guys have been, I don't want to say in your head, but you guys have been deep in thought. You've pulled your feelings back from a situation or for something that's going on. And you have been, I don't want to say struggling, but you are in between two minds about something. So you're trying to figure out the best course of action and the best thing to do, the right thing to do for yourselves. For some of you, you may have sought help or you're thinking about seeking help from a higher institution. If this was money, some of you are trying to figure out how to raise money for a project or to get certain things done. If this is romance, some of you might be, you know, trying to go towards your higher self or, you know, seek counseling. Even something as simple as watching, you know, tarot readings just to gain more perspective on what to do okay so you guys i don't want to say you're in limbo because you you've deliberately placed yourself there to make the smartest move for yourself what's going on for some of you is some type of shady more like a shady love business shady love affair something like that you have these feelings you want love but there's conflict here so I don't know if you've been having hot words or harsh words with someone but um it's not necessarily to your liking or it's not something that it's what you want but you don't see it being the fit for you so it's like okay you know you're open to a relationship but the person current in your energy is not it it's uh too much strife it's, it feels even like a fight even like some of you have been fighting with someone and you shouldn't be fighting where love is concerned right for a few of you you could even be fighting feelings for someone you know and that's why you're thinking like should i give this a go or not for others of you that recognize that the situation might not be the most ideal, I think you're realizing you need to be strong to overcome whatever it was that you went through. It wasn't the greatest relationship. I don't want to say it's abusive. I don't want to put that out there. But for some of you, it probably was. This person could have been verbally abusive. This person could have had like a hot temper because this is wands. This is fire sign energy. So it was just... It was an ideal. Let's just leave it at that, okay? So you need strength to move on. You were deep, definitely deeply hurt by whatever the, the issue was. But I think for some of you, I think the right thing to do was to get on up out of their justice card. This is also some of you calling for justice because this was a magician you were dealing with, a tricky person. The thing with this person, right? The thing with this person again could have been fire energy or they have fire in their chart or it's just their temperament they're like passionate or you know they speak harshly or whatever the thing about this person is when they came to you this is how they were coming to you so you thought you were going to have a passionate hot new love affair you've got two aces here ace of cups ace of wands but the thing is when i ask for more information on this ace of wands coming up coming up as a tricky person the reason why you got tricked or the reason why it didn't pan out for you is this you thought they were stable you thought this was legit you thought they were stable or whatnot but what ended up happening was hurt you got hurt you got betrayed backstabbed taken advantage of blindsided you didn't see something coming 
So that's what the issue is with this person. Okay, I need to know one thing. I need to know, okay, so what is Virgo going to do moving forward? Because we see what the situation is. Let me see if I can shuffle with one hand. I don't need to shuffle with one hand. I just need to at least pull a card. What do you need to do? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I want to know what you guys need to do moving forward. I don't think you guys know what you need to do moving forward. You just don't know. All you know is that you feel like you're going nuts. It's in your head. And this is more emotions right here. You're like all sad and everything. What you need to do, excuse my nails, they broke, all right? I play too hard. What you need to do moving forward is focus on your stability. Focus on, you know, your money, your coins, and just, even if it's emotional stability, that's what you got to focus on, balancing your thoughts. So that is your job, to ground yourself. You're an earth sign, so it should not be too hard. But that's the message for you. Just focus on your coins, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. This is short. And um, I'm going to try to just come in with something different for August. More information. Something brand spanking new. Because all of these stories about lies and love and betrayal, they do absolutely nothing for me. I mean, yeah, it's the story of life. But life doesn't always have to be like that. And when we encounter these situations, we learn our lessons. And then we move forward. So have a good night, Virgo. Do not come for me. Bye.